Um, now they believe me. So you got to give them a lot of credit all the way to the end. Uh, but I will tell you this, I, I'm very proud of my group. We got stops in the second half, got a big interception for a touchdown, got a stop at the end of the, on the last drive, got stops in between. And offensively, we went and did the things we needed to do. Uh, it's one of those ball games, you're going to get everybody's best shot. So this again was on the road, and this is everybody's best shot. So we, we just got to keep moving forward. Hopefully, we'll, we'll uh, treat Iowa State a little bit better. Before we, we understood what Kansas State was going to be all about. They didn't play, you know, it's, it's a usual Bill Snyder team. They had some guys that didn't play again tonight, and they just fought their tails off, and, and we, had, we had to struggle, and we had to do some things to come out with a win. I think you had two good football teams battling that, period. You know, it's, it's like I told Coach Snyder, it's too bad anybody had to lose that one. You know, but I stood here two years ago and watched them kick a field goal with, I think I saw the trivia question with like three seconds left to lose one like that. So, uh, you know, you get some, take some sometimes, and you win some, you lose some. And in this situation, you know, we were we were fortunate. I just kept, I told them at halftime, I, I didn't yell at them. I said, look, I said, I watched you laughing in the training room. I watched you laughing at practice. I watched you laughing good, do it all. What, are, what kind of ball game are you not listening to me? You don't understand how K-State plays at home. You don't know what you're getting into when you play K-State. But they found out what they got into, and then at halftime, I said, look. So we're down. It's not over with. we got to get stops. we got to come back and score. Our offense can score, and, and we got to do some things as special teams. So, uh, you know, we got we got fortunate, and uh, we're glad we're 6-0 and getting back on, on a plane, getting ready to, to fight another day. Well, yeah, because, well, let's look at Texas. I mean, we hold them to seven. I mean, it's when we go on the road, you're going to, I said before the season, this is how all the road games were going to be if we stayed highest ranked as we are against some of the teams we have to play against. So it's, I'm not, I'm not surprised. And now I'm just trying to win. I'm not trying to be the number one team in the nation. I'm just trying to be an undefeated team. And now I'm trying to, go to try to beat Iowa State. That's all, I, that's all we can control. We can't control the voters. We can't control anybody else. I'm tired of hearing about style points. It's hard just to win. So uh, we just tried to win. But you know, these guys learned. You know, we, we didn't, we did, our ends were supposed to play the quarterback. We let the quarterback out on reads. I mean, everything that you could possibly do in the first half, we did. We did. I mean, it was, we should be ashamed the way we played defensively. Trey had a big fourth quarter for you, Coach. Can you talk about his play? Well, I mean, I keep telling you guys, you should enjoy Josh Dotson and you should enjoy Trayvon Boyd. Because they love, they love, they've been around here for a while and they love, they love pressure and they, they do great things. You know, you got to give them credit, but you know, you can, there for a while they stymied us. We didn't, I mean, it's end of the second half, we about gave the game away because we wouldn't move it. We, we, uh, we had about a 15 yard punt, we turned the ball over and they scored three touchdowns and we were about out of the ball game. I got to give them a lot of credit. Our guys that we fought back and did the things we needed to do. So, what was what was the, the turning point in your minds in that second half that you finally felt like you had grabbed the momentum? Well, I think I side? think us first off just the interception for a touchdown. Even though we did it, it's got us back. Okay, well now we're we're not 17 points down. You know, and then you you get a touchdown, and then once you once you got it within four, then it became a ball game. Anybody's ball game. But in the, you're in the back of your mind at that time, you're thinking, we're going to get the ball for You know, I, I, didn't, I, yeah. I didn't even think about it that way. The biggest thing is I just thought, I just told them we're, we're going to have to do some things to get stops. So we're going to have to take some chances, and, yeah. and we, were, you know, we got fortunate on some. Were you kind of surprised that they were throwing the ball more to start the third quarter? No. I mean, it's um, – I don't know. I, I, I guess I hadn't really thought about it. We were loading the box. We were going to make sure they did it. Even on the last second to last drive, we made them throw the ball because we were bringing seven in the box and they had five blockers. So, I mean, you got a choice. So, Coach, I know you've got a quick strike offense. Can you talk about overcoming a 2-1 time kind of possession? That was a well, yeah, I mean, that's, that's last week I, 
I beat somebody 50 to seven and, and that ran, they, and the, that team ran 80 plays. <laughs> and so, you know, the best way not to that to happen is we got to play better on defense. I mean, I looked at the halftime stats, they were five or six on third downs. That's our fault. That's not our offense's fault. That's our fault. Because last year we had the same quick strike offense and we led the league in third downs. So, I mean, we just, we got to do a better job on defense, especially if we play at home, but we got to play better on the road. And, and I think they'll all learn. I mean, we, there's, a bunch, there's a bunch of guys. Latham was the guy that I actually let three quarterback gets, and it was his first game back, and he didn't play very well. You know, so hopefully he'll play better next week, you know, because he's been out two or three weeks. And, and, uh, but it was, they fought, and, you know, you got to give Montrell Wilson, he made the final hit that caused the fumble. I mean, here's a true freshman that was a safety six weeks ago that making a play. But he was also the one that didn't come around, let the quarterback out on a quarterback option. I mean, it's just a, it's going to be an ongoing thing, but they'll, hopefully they, they understand it and we keep going. I just got to be the best team I can be by, by December, by the end of November. So right now I'm going to try to be one point better than Iowa State, then I get 12 days off. And then we get a chance to rest. You know, everybody else has got an off week just about. We haven't had an off week. We played all the way through. I knew this four game was going to be tough. And so now we're going on to Iowa State. We get through that. We've got 12 days before we play West Virginia. We can catch our breath. And then we see how the, see how the last five games fall. We can get by the game next week. And that was the plan overall. I told everybody that. I thought the four toughest games, most important games on our schedule were these four. I'm not, I'm not saying that there were better teams. But I knew what it was going to be like to go to, go to Iowa. I knew what it was going to be like to come to Manhattan. I knew what it was going to be like to go to Lubbock. We scored 82 a year ago, so I knew what kind of game we were going to get from them. Um, and so, but here's the thing. We keep doing that. Why can't you Why can't you go beat anybody you want to if you can go score and do all the things you need to? And it's, so it's, I'm kind of jumping on this bandwagon. You know? I got no problem. I got no problem outscoring scoring people right now. Now, tomorrow, I'm not going to be very happy with the defense, and they know it. And, but we probably won't practice because, to be honest with you, we need to get our legs back and we need, we need to be fresh. We'll watch Iowa State film. We'll jog a little bit to get the soreness out, and, and we'll get ready to play. Get ready on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, get on a plane, and, and see if we can go win one and get 7-0 and have a break. So, um, Gary, at what point does this become, I, I just asked you about can you keep winning like this. So what point does this become like purple magic where this is your idea? Well, you know, this group, I tell you, it's, uh, they've been like this even even two years ago. We lost five games by 11 points. We went four and eight. They had this toughness. You know, to be honest with you, I, that was one thing. I, I thought they pushed us around in the second, first half on defense. We, you know, it's, but Texas didn't. They got to come out and play every week. This is not... When you when you take everybody's best shot, you don't you don't get a chance to take a week off. That that, that doesn't happen. If you want to be one of the top five teams, one of the top three, one of the top two, whatever, then everybody's going to give you their best shot. You're going to, everybody get a chance to make their year. We have sit here before in different conferences, and it's tougher in this one. So um, we got to go play. Coach, were you surprised by K State kicking a field goal to tie the game? Oh there? no, I mean. You give yourself a chance. I mean, you're going to kick off. You think you got a chance to get a stop. I mean, that was smart. We stopped them, and the game's over. They only had one timeout, and he used it. So then you can't stop the clock, and the game's basically the game's over. With. So, I mean, that was a smart play. To be honest with you, I mean, it's, I would have, I would have kicked the field goal. Hey, Gary, do you feel like this team, kind of having a younger team, in experience, going on the road? Well, it's, I think I think they're learning um, that if you want to be a champion, all champions are judged by how you play on the road. Everybody holds court at home. How, how do you play on the road? It's hard to win on the road. You know, last year we had 10 games in the state of Texas. It's one thing to come to Manhattan. It's another thing to go to Baylor or down in Texas where you'll take 10 to 20,000 people in. I mean, you you still have you still have a quite a following. Okay, so we knew there was going to be six games. I told when the schedule came out what it was February March. I said we better roll our sleeves up and we better get ready to play on the road because this road's getting and it's going to happen to us every other year. 
every other year we got to go play the schedule. So uh, we just we just need to get used to it. Let's do two more questions. Anything else, guys? Okay, thanks, Coach. We'll have players next.